All right, brace yourself. We hate Braced. to be the bearers of bad news, but there are just 66 days between us and the official start of hurricane season. Yeah. AccuWeather releasing its forecast for the year two, calling it explosive. Mm. They're predicting up to 30 named storms this year. They're even saying the first named system of the year could pop up before June. But why are we seeing a more explosive, in quotes, air quotes, that is, <laughs> season? News 6 meteorologist Jonathan Kagas explains the La Nina effect of it all on his show, Weather Wise. Look at this, though. These are the La Nina seasons, the La Nina hurricane seasons that immediately followed a strong El Nino. Look at the difference here, and you see the years in the banner there, 73, 83, 88, 95, 98, 2010, 2016. So again, there's more lines because typically it is more active in a La Nina year. All those lines represent the tracks of the seasons. They're different colors because each one of those lines uh, corresponds to a season. The point I want to make with this, and I know it's really, really hard to read and it's hard to kind of dissect what is what, I just want to point out there, look at the activity increase in the Western Caribbean and in the Gulf of Mexico in a La Nina season following a strong El Nino. And again, that is what we're heading into for the 2024 season. It's one of the things that we're certainly going to be watching for. Uh, long range models are starting to bite that we are going to have an active season. And again, using the past to kind of look forward would also suggest an active Caribbean and potentially active Gulf of Mexico season as well as you'd have the storms get up here and then work their way into the Gulf. And unfortunately, not only do we have the opportunity for an active season, it has the opportunity to be an impactful season. Again, I always say I don't care how many storms form. If they're all for the fish out in the middle of the ocean, I know shipping channels are impacted and that's not good either. But as long as they're not impacting humans, I'm fine with that. It looks like here just by taking that La Nina following a strong El Nino, we could be in for a, an impactful season as well. All right, I want hmm. everybody to pay attention to that word, mm -hmm. Jonathan, just use impactful. Right. So News 6 Jonathan Kagas joins us now from his home base in the Clicko studio. And Jonathan, <laughs> uh, others are describing this upcoming season as explosive. Do you think that explosive is the right way to describe this? Okay, so here, here's the thing. I, I do think it's going to be active, and there's a lot more on ClickOrlando.com breaking down the additional reasons for that. I hate the kind of scary words, the explosive nature of it. I, I, I like the term impactful more. There is a distinct difference in some of the data that we're seeing in some of those analog years that we call it, that last year we had the strong El Nino in play and those tend to bend a little bit more, but the Caribbean and Gulf do come a little more active in La Nina. I just don't think we need to get everybody in a tizzy with some of those uh, bigger headlines. So I like the word impactful versus explosive, but the data would suggest we are gonna be in for an active season, Lisa. Well, one thing I did note on that, 2004 was not on that list, and that is a year that is just seared into all of our minds because right. it was such an active season here in Florida. Mm -hmm. So we'll see, fingers crossed, that we don't have to deal with any of that. A weak El Nino, I believe. Right, that yeah. year is what Samara Kukinos was just telling us. Thank you very much, Jonathan Kegas. We appreciate it. Let's get you over.